Let's talk about hawk calls. Now these are normally very screechy vocalizations that you might hear when a hawk is soaring overhead, flying past you, or perched. And they're going to call for a variety of different reasons. It might be for contact, letting another hawk know, hey, I'm over here. It might be territorial, they're letting something know, hey, this is my space. And it might be some kind of mating display, or they just felt like vocalizing. So we're going to go over 10 common hawk calls that you might hear in the United States. It's not going to cover every single hawk or every single vocalization, just some of the more common ones. And we're going to go through a little bit of information about each bird, give you some background, and when you might hear these vocalizations. If you just want the calls, I'm going to put a link in the description to a video that just has them back to back. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Our first hawk is the red-tailed hawk. Widespread, lives in a ton of different places in the US, and they come in a lot of different color variations. But they make the iconic screech that's actually shown in movies a lot for any type of bird of prey. So a lot of times there'll be like a bald eagle shown and it'll play the red-tailed hawk call. So this is what the red-tailed hawk actually sounds like. And now this is what the bald eagle actually sounds like. So this is something Hollywood gets wrong a lot. I think they're getting a little bit better at it, but you might notice it. Also, other birds can mimic this red-tailed hawk screech, such as blue jays. They're really good at doing this. Uh, they'll actually do that to scare everything away from the feeder, then they'll come in, get what they want, and leave. So they're very good at doing this, and other birds can mimic the red-tailed hawk vocalization as well. Next up, we have the red-shouldered hawk. And they're found in the eastern US and along the California coast, normally in forests or wetland areas, but they can be seen perched up as well, especially along fields or along roadsides. And they make a repeated key-year, key-year vocalization. Next up is the broad-winged hawk. They're found in the eastern forests in the summer, and they migrate in really large flocks to Central and South America. So this is one that I see the most during migration, so in the spring and fall. And they make a really high-pitched, thin, peat vocalization. Next up, we have the cooper's hawk, which is very commonly seen in backyards, along with the sharp-shinned hawk. Cooper's hawks are normally larger, they look a little more fierce, uh, they have a bigger head. Sharp shinned is going to be smaller, more bug-eyed, almost looks like they don't have a neck whatsoever. But the Cooper's hawk is widespread across North America, often seen in woodlands, backyards, they do like to take birds from bird feeders, and their vocalization is a harsh cack, 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 cack. Next up, we have the sharp-shinned hawk. They breed in the northern forested areas, but can also be widespread across the US depending on the time of year. And they're gonna make a higher, faster kick, kick, kick. So it's gonna be higher and faster than the Cooper's hawk vocalization. I don't hear Cooper's or sharp-shinned vocalize that often, but if they're hanging around your neighborhood, you might. Next up, we have the American goshawk. Now this was once considered the same species as the European version. They were known as the Northern goshawk, and then they got split, so American's now different. But these are massive birds, and for their size, they can be pretty secretive. So they can be tough to see unless you kind of know where a nest is or you just kind of get lucky seeing one. They can be found in the boreal forests, mountainous areas, and in the Northern United States. Like I said, their range is kind of expansive, but they can be pretty secretive. So if you do hear one vocalizing, that might help you track it down. And they make a more powerful cat, 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 cat vocalization. So the hawk vocalizations are interesting because they're normally screechy or kind of like, not necessarily what you would expect with kind of some of these like cacks and uh, screams. Next up, we have the Swainson's hawk. And they're found in the western prairies and more open areas, and they migrate to South America in the winter. And their vocalization is kind of gull-like. It is a descending career. (coughs) 
Next up, we have the rough-legged hawk, which breeds in the Arctic tundra, and they winter across much of the United States. And their vocalization is also kind of a keer, but it's a little more whiny. Next up, we have the Harris's hawk, which is kind of a southwestern U.S. specialty bird. So if you're not in their region, you're probably not going to encounter them whatsoever. But they make a harsher wah vocalization. And finally, we have the ferruginous hawk. In general, these birds are going to be a lot lighter in coloration than a lot of the other hawk species, but they're found in the western United States, further north in the summer, and then further south in the winter, but they do stay year-round in certain places. And they make kind of a scratchy, screaming noise, similar to a herring gull. And then as a bonus, this is not actually the same family as hawks, but something you might hear are ospreys. So I'm gonna include a little bit of info about the osprey. Sometimes people call them fish hawks, although they're not technically the same as other hawks. And they're often found in wetland areas feeding on fish. So this is what the osprey sounds like. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out a lot. Let me know your favorite hawk vocalization in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.